Still, do we create an MVC here? Pleasure. Solution to that is good to know. You can already see that. We start this now. अन्य है ना इसलो एसकेएल सब सरी का इंस्टॉल हो लेता हूँ अभी चपेल में हमें को अभी नेम पूना पिक्चर को सब ये सीक्वल वाला उन्नाव वाला शेयर दिया है इनके अंदर इनके दो खड़ा प्रश्न
much there. No? So, we are using the SPDNet web forms development. Now, we are going to develop with MVC. That is also with ASP.NET only. Okay. So, what is MVC? Here is MVC is a design pattern. Right? So, model view control, uh, like three, three layer uh, architecture kind of thing. Okay. So, the MVC is not only uh, with ASP.NET. It was there with JavaScript framework, it was there with uh, Java, okay. Very technological in this end. But Manadan could say ASP dot and MVC and Manada framework and mana template loud designation and ASP dot and MVC. Okay. Going forward when we are learning uh, Angular JS, there also you will see MVC uh, framework model there. So altogether it's called a design pattern in this. So what is the design pattern? Design pattern is a set of um, rules or guidance uh, like which will be proposed based on some uh, existing um, issues or uh, architecture styles. Existing architecture styles me alone issues in the basis uh, like uh, technicians like the experts who are, who are masters in the existing uh, architecture, they will give us a way, root map to go with this kind of style. This is the way you need to follow. So that is called a 
gen pattern. Okay. So, so the MVC also will come under in that way. That is a design pattern. should be updated now because yesterday we updated from 4.5.2 to 4.5. Yeah, so it was updated. Even your system has latest to us, 4.5.1, all these things, 5.2, 6, 6.1, all these things. Still you can able to work with 4.5. So this is called backward compatibility. Okay. Changes, sir. Hmm? So here this is a template as I said like you can go with uh, MVC template. When you are going with MVC template it will be automatically added to the reference folders or references to the MVC project. So that was default it was shipped. And we did not require do not require post in the file. Added. If we newly added, like plus mark will be come here, right? Newly added file. Here, if you understand, like here, we will have must ensure three folders: so controller, models, and views. Okay. The rest of the folders will be similar to our ASP.NET folder. App underscore start, fonts, content, scripts. The thing is remains in, right? So now, firstly, what we need to understand is like when we are uh, developing an ASP public application to load a page, so the uh, the mechanism will be to load a to load an ASP space. We will refer directly to the ASP space physical path. Okay. So to load a uh, let's suppose employee dot domain name slash the folder name slash where exactly the employee or the space exists that is called the folder name and we will give the file name employee dot ASPX. So our ASPX space will be rendered into the browser right till now that that's what we have implemented. 
Now coming to <coughs> MVC, the uh, rendering mechanism will be slightly different. It is having separate routing. Okay. So what is routing? So let me show you one thing here. Here you have outcome. Okay. So the URL will be comes like this. So how the URL? First you will have the domain name. Next you will have the controller, not the folder name here. Okay. So we need to specify the controller name. Next we need to give the action name. Okay. Next, if there are any parameters required for that method, then we will view that parameters. Okay. Likewise, it will uh, render the um, web pages. At the same time, your action methods will be fired later. So, what is action? Let's see. If you go to controllers, okay. So, controllers also. <coughs> A controller. Let, let me take one controller here. Uh, I'm taking a home controller. Okay. So home controller is nothing but a class. Okay. It is inheriting one again one another class that is nothing but controller class. It is a base class. So uh, that's how it will become a controller. Okay. So when I'm giving the suffix controller, uh, the framework will be automatically understand. Uh, like the URL, uh, like what's the naming convention of the URL, if I give home slash also, that will be similar to home control slash. Okay, so that we'll see in a few minutes. Uh, just for understanding, I'm giving this. Like so URL will be like this. Domain name is okay. home slash. So this will become the URL. Now, to access this index, to fire this method, okay, this is a method, right? Uh, generally, what will be a method syntax? You will give access test fire, that might be public, private, protect, everything. Okay. Here I am giving public, because it should be globally accessible. But directly, this should be fired from someone else. So, public, next, this is a return type. Okay, and this is the method name. So it it is nothing but a method, but here we will call this as an action. Okay, so here the action uh, will be similar to method syntax, and the return type will be action result. Okay, so action result is a base return type. Okay, so every action uh, will have a return type with action result or its derived classes. So what are the other derived classes? It can return a view. View uh, result. Okay. See, if if I am returning a view, I can uh, give the return type as view results. It's fine. Okay. So let me show you one example in our ASP .NET or any method, C sharp method I can can understand public. Uh, let's suppose object. Okay. Next, uh, some method. Okay. okay. So how it is satisfying? Even you're returning a string, uh, so the return type is object here, right? So object is what? It's a base, base object. Every uh, string or integer will be uh, developed with the help of object only, right? So likewise, here action result is a base class. Okay. Uh, every return type will be uh, implemented with the help of the base base class. So view result is a class again. Okay. The return type is again a class. If you observe here, object also it's a class again. Class system object. Okay. Every type is uh, in .NET framework 
is a class. Okay, even integer, string, everything is a class. Okay, so they will have some base classes also, right? For our regular uh, return types, the string, integer, everything, the base class is object. Okay, likewise for action returns, uh, view result, JSON result, content result, there are certain result types. Okay, so those result those return types have a base class with the action result. Now I am clicking on F12, so motor definition it will go right. So view it is written, it is inheriting view based result. Okay. Again I am clicking F12 to the view based result, view result base. Okay. See it was it was inherited action result. So that's why I am saying the base class for my view result is nothing but action result okay so that is the reason I am able to uh, give action result here and I can return anything here okay that might be a view that might be a JSON JSON object okay you got it that might be a content object content result like this. Okay. Likewise, so there are certain return types. A action will return you. The first one is view. Very important return type. Okay. So with the help of this view result, you will return the uh, HTML content to the browser. Okay. So what generally will happen? So, this method, this action, we hit jail and demand. We need to uh, write in the URL domain name slash home slash home and the controller name, right? So, home slash. This suffix is the automatic framework. It will convention based framework convert Okay? So, controller and the writer will be So, framework will take care of it. Next, index. Home slash index and the the action is fire the one method network fire jail man C sharp language so you will create an instance for this class home controller hc object equals to new home controller and that's one right so next hc an object key dot index on is there one key e method fire it right everyone following me yes sir Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. So, but here in this MVC controller framework, so here this is also a class, this is also an action method, but to call this action method, you will directly, uh, you can directly access this via URLs. Okay. So, you need not to create an object for this. Okay. So, you can call this action method with the help of controller name slash action name. Likewise here, tell me how to access this. Home slash. Home slash. Above. That's all. So, here, it is returning view. So, so with this, uh, our understanding is first any URL will hit the controller, right? And next it will hit the action. Then based on the return type, we will see the uh, we will see the output in the browser. Okay. So now it is returning view. Which view it will be written? Okay. Again, there is a convention based uh, mechanism. So there is a views folder, right? All views will be in that views folder only. Okay. Now coming to these views, there are again certain folders. Okay. So our controller name is home, right? So it will check for the home folder. Next, what is our action name? Index. So it will go to the index.csh. Okay. This view 
this is nothing but a view whatever we are writing in the html so what a what an end user will see that is called the view okay this view will be rendered to the browser when you click in the url uh, home slash index this output you will see okay now you got it If you if you click in the URL home slash about about that says HTML will be displayed. Okay. It's just a content base. Like in our ASP.NET, what it is there? ASPX space is a content base. It can have master base or it cannot have it may not have master base also. Right? So likewise here uh, dot CS HTML is a Content base <coughs> and it has a must it will have a master base uh, that will be in the same views folder within the shared folder. Okay, so it's again a convention. So shared the name should be always shared. Okay, and the layout underscore layout dot html is nothing but our master base. Okay, so this index.cshtml will use layout.cshtml as the master base. Okay. Let me run this so you will understand what I am trying to say. We can use same Vivo DAL in our uh, uh, MVC project also. For doing CRUD operations. And reference Vivo and DAL. Now again I am doing a set as CRUD project for this. So, routing no direct to home slash index on the default to each run. That's why even you specify that the home slash index or not, it will work. Home slash uh, index. And so, we will be again see the same web page. See? Next. Uh, here one more uh, convention based is if you given only 
controller name okay then also it will work because uh, every controller uh, will check whether index is action is there if it is there it will take that as a default action okay so i'm taking the uh, i mean uh, i'm removing the action here and I again i'm clicking the url okay. see then also it will work so likewise uh, url based routing will be there here i am giving about okay then what it should be displayed our about page this should be displayed home site about see about page was scale right the same here you will do like if i click contact if you observe here okay uh, when i am also in mouse over here domain name slash home slash contact so home slash contact means home is the controller contact is the action method so it will it will give the contact.chtml as the output for you okay now let's create our own controller so what we are discussing maybe one uh, student uh, employee man yes sir be one of student student okay so let's take a student controller here okay so to create a controller we will directly right click here and add a controller okay. here again there are uh, uh, another uh, templates also along with empty controller okay so one thing is read or write actions can be there and it will give you with the entity framework it will give you all the cred operations and its web api controllers okay we will we will learn this web api later okay so now i am taking a mvc5 uh, controller with empty uh, syntax okay without any action methods if you go with read write actions it will give you all the action methods also just to learn we need to give our uh, controller main here student controller yeah. scaffolding is a template generator okay so you will see lot of scaffolding template uh, templates in this mvc okay now see a student controller generator and the default index action method was generated to call this action here it is simply saying if you write in the url with student then it will be fine so that's what it is saying you need not to mention student slash index okay that is one thing and next uh, so we we created a controller here it's fine now to we need to create a view also at this moment we don't have any view but here we have a student folder which was created just now when you created the controller name student right so how to create a view we need to just right click here right click on this view method we will see add view here okay so in the add view like uh, the name of the view should be similar to our action method action name index index okay at this moment i am not giving any template okay and uh, it is not a partial view what is a partial view yesterday we learned about uh, user control right so like that here it is called a partial view in mvc okay and here i am not uh, uh i'm giving a master page 
for this student. Okay, it will use the existing masterpiece. <coughs> we need not to specify the masterpiece when we write in the view star file. Let me show you the view star file. See here, we don't have any masterpiece reference, but still we will be associated a masterpiece to this uh, student uh, view. How it was happening is there is another file view start csxtml okay here you will have a reference to the master base layout equals to layout is master base right so layout equals to uh, the master base file name here we need to mention use shared uh, layout csxtml okay so this is our master base so whenever you are writing in the view underscore, underscore view start any view in this application, it is going to start, it will check this file. If there is a master base reference, it will give you that master base reference directly. So you need not to write an individual file uh, for this, what is the master base, for this, what is the master base, something like that. So it's a one time job in this file, if you write. So that is one thing. And I'm trying to write here some HTML, okay? View okay. So if I run this. I should see the output. Student slash index. Okay. Uh, and then we need to see our HTML what we have developed right now. This is a student base. Okay. Like this, you can write. So everyone understand what is routing? This is very important. Like when we are working in MVC, we need to understand first what is routing. Then only we can write our methods, then only we can write our views. At least output will be come. Forget about the logic. How to uh, uh, create a view, we need to understand, right? So anyone have doubts here? Sujan? Yes sir. No, no sir. I'm good. So, okay. Now let's uh, discuss about the model. Okay. So, till now what we have seen only controller and view. This is view, right? And whatever we are writing in this view, that is going to be uh, represented in the browser. Okay, so model is a uh, like intermediate layer between controller and view. Okay, so whenever you want to do some data binding, that might be like a form form creation. Okay, that might be like a form uh, update when you are updating a uh, data or deleting a data. So when you are dealing with data kind of operations, okay, you will go with modal binding. Okay. So how a modal binding will be happening? So in your modal, uh, like you will have all the properties. So the properties will be uh, what I am saying is now uh, can be associated with this HTML file. Okay. So let me show you one example uh, that will be able to clear picture. First I'm adding in form and I'm taking uh, the same inputs just to use our Vivo and our DAL and using the
same properties. Okay. So in this model, I'm going to create. class okay. student view modes let's follow the same syntax like view models is there let me update this View models. So it should also be better. Better. I just copy pasted the view properties here. Okay. And uh, like this model can be uh, used in our HTML. I mean view to create a form okay that means country name course everything okay let's make the order here so based on this order only there it will be run there So let's create uh, a new view. So I'm just deleting this. Okay. So I will create another one. Okay. This time uh, I will use our model. And view again same index okay and this time I'm going to create a view with the help of template okay what is a template I can create uh, a create form okay when I'm insert person was similar then you create form under okay if you want to show a grid view kind of thing then you will go for details if you want to make some delete operations then you will go with this delete okay if you want to write some edit मानूँ अपुर एनिमेशन मानूँ फॉर्म क्रिएट जरन की मानूँ में स्पीड ऑफ एंड कंट्रोल सिस्टम नहीं फॉर्म डिजाइन जिस तरह का सो सच काइंड ऑफ व्हाट विल बी रिड्यूस विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस टेम्पलेट्स ओके सो डिटेल्स नहीं थे ओका आइटम गुड रहने ओका स्टूडेंट आइटम डिटेल्स गुड रहने लिस्ट अं model help okay now let's create with with the help of model right okay two options in the guys sir empty you know empty without model and different center yeah it can model bind over do it could have no also model model bind it again a new model and the model that one of us coach custom the code okay yeah create so when you do template when you do select a template with create then you will ask for the model which kind of model you are expecting so we will mention our latest student model student view model okay so here Again, data context is for our uh, entity framework kind of thing. Okay, we will discuss later about that. Now it's not a partial view. I'm expecting a reference script library is required here, and it will have the same. Okay. So, so see again, it is scaffolding. It will give you everything. Right, so we need not to write any single line here. 
but maybe if we understand something, we can modify. First, what it will do? It will refer that particular model with the help of at the rate model. Okay. At the rate model, MVC interval that model shouldn't view models. So it's nothing but uh, for this class, it's an alias. So that you will access everything uh, with the help of model only. So how we will present it? Model. Yes. So next name also model. Uh, so we will use this model as an alias name for this student view models. Okay. Next we will discuss about view back later. So there are uh, three different state management techniques: view back, view data, temp data. Okay. We will discuss later. And next again, this using block. This is another important uh, block. So in our ASP.NET, we have form uh, tag, right? Form. In the form, uh, in, the, in the body, form tag is there. In the form, we will write all the div controls, right? Here, to generate a form controller, form form controller, we will use this HTML dot begin form. Okay. So, whenever, wherever it is closing, then it will be automatically close the tag will be generated. See, here it is closing. So, a close tag will be generated here whenever it is rendering into the browser. So, this is what about uh, form container. How to render a form dynamically. And see, right? So, in the rate and in the it is a kind of C sharp language name on the just books because it's CS HTML, right? You can go and write your C sharp code also in the same place. Okay, if you observe here, it's great and it is a block rash. Okay, so it is nothing but a C sharp code here. Okay, so if I mouse over here, we will see uh, what is this. Uh, and the right? view bag and the end mouse over your syndrome and key information that's all. So in general, whenever you are writing, in general if I click on H4, uh, between them there's a little bit. But uh, the information you will fetch from the uh, DLLs, right? Until they can get view page, view back page, sorry, view page dot view back and the dynamic return type is in the view back with the other but what it what it is is it's a C sharp block. Okay. When you are writing at the rate, then you can write your C sharp Let me show you See all the C can write here. And one block to in thirty two all thirty two. Other assets and one removing that another one. So make uh, HTML mix it over. So H2 tags in the ring. Right? Edit using another common HTML. Next edit HTML dot edit HTML for us one need me HTML helper class something. Okay? So all these HTML helper. Next HTML dot anti forgery token and the internet. So it will Generate a hidden field in your form. In form, bring up a hidden field generate JC. Whenever you are submitting to the server multiple times, okay, it will uh, check whether this hidden field was generated by that server or not. Atla ni ko protect this karna. Ni ko ande cross site scripting inchi it will protect you. It is for security reasons. Uh, Straight forward we can say. Okay. So next one is. Uh, a div was there. Okay. Under this div, each control web. Here we are not using our table tr pdis. We can write with table tr pdis also. But uh, as per the latest standards, CSS standards, uh, it better go go with divs because it will reduce the length of the HTML code. Okay. Uh, we need not write a duplicate uh, tr pdis td open td close something like. Okay, with a single div, uh, like you can mention, 
active, like inbuilt classes are there. Class form group is nothing but it will give you, give you a row to you. Okay. And in each row you are writing the elements. You remember in the each row what we have written first we have written the label. Uh, let, let's suppose if it is a name, we will write name there. Span name. Next we will write the control, right? ASP text box, something like that we have written. Similar way you are writing like this here. Okay. So this is label for this model. So it will generate a student ID label and it will give you an option for editing the student ID. Okay. What is editor for? Of this integer, like uh, it will generate an text box whenever it is added to the browser. If there is any validation message associated with this, it will show you that validation message here. Okay. So at this moment we did not write any validations. So I'm just want to I just want to show you how it will be automatically generated the template. So whatever the properties you take in the view mode, all for all the properties, it will give you a uh, editor option. Okay. So like this. Okay. With this, I am trying to run. See, we have everything here. Student ID, name, courses, gender, uh, country, alumni, one and after property series, you know, or any yeah. And even it was given a create button also because we have selected a create form. Okay. If you want, you can edit this. There is no wrong here. I mean, if you want to make this as save button, okay, you can save, save on the text then. Okay. At the same time, uh, so it was very simple uh, HTML button, right? Input type, submit, value, save. But whenever you are doing uh, submit link, what will be happen? Okay, it should save to our database. Right? So first, it need to be uh, hit some action method. So you will modify this form to uh, click some of the actions whenever you click the submit button. When you index an action, you can save an input action. And then you can click the button click the button. Save click the button. We will generate one event. Right? On click and click the event. Save underscore. We can save underscore click and click the event. We can generate one 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 event. Right? Anyone remember? So, in similar fashion, you need to write one another method here. One another action here to be fired whenever a button was clicked. So then this money it formed the one much. So whenever this submit button was clicked, this form will be modified according to that. So before doing that, let me put some validations also here. So money if you have create and go to that oh validations also it's fine. Uh, JavaScript and the Reformation, right? so validations it is directly giving to show this one scripts section scripts scripts value. Okay. So due to that it is giving you validations. Um, okay. Okay. Which one is not string, it is giving according to what. But we need to write our custom validations, right? So Basically, just the money student and as well as the student idea and it's a primary key, right? So primary key man render the as well as So how to protect our property uh, which should not be rendered into this view? Adi mano mukti tells one, right? At the same time, kuni kada emoto optional parameters na chanda mane kaka allow na lisin na chida database, right? So after that, what ni ala ra? So 
let's say that is six and back more. Did you have student here? In the null sendi country null not null null sendi student name. Then put the reverse symbol. Student name null. Null null yes sir. Student name not null no. To write some custom properties, we have custom validations. So we have one name space here. And we can protect our student ID which can which cannot be rendered into our view. System dot component data. So key on is the primary key log is funny. It will not render into our view on require next. If you want to write your uh, custom error messages, you can write like this. Error message. Same course would have required under one and it will have some uh, min length and the minimum in the character central area and you took number three characters okay. max length so table or the max length and the back here of the course 150 right so we will give here one so for P I can give a range of range of data. Fee and the internet is our good and the monkey my hundred dollars to the join the students and uncle and uncle will give some uh, minimum value to this fee. Let's suppose it can be a 500 is the minimum value and the maximum value can be like three thousand dollars like that. The sun is in the text box. Let's see how it will be rendered as a drop down in next next time. Okay. And then we put in teaser and in this text box over 0 1 select this. Okay. Uh, say aluminium container. So, Okay, done. It was for me. Now let's again go on delete this. Okay. And 
student ID or Chinga in the moment, you put a student ID wrong with it. That is what our intention. And it should have some custom validations also, what we have implemented. Add view. See, we will not see our ID here, student ID and your So save button will be there, put aim there, let's see that also. So we can mention the action name first, next the controller name, so we will controller. Every action method will be uh, by default it will be like HTTP GET method. Okay, but when you are doing some submitting, then it should be like a POST HTTP GET POST on two different way, right? So I want to use here <coughs> POST method. Okay. So this form will be a kind of post method. So first I need to create a save action in our public action result. Okay. Save. Save action then is of save one method, right? Next. <coughs> Next manam properties mokum we should be able to read, right? So for that you can use a parameter form collection. Form collection on the UCH or else you can directly call that model. What is that model? Student view model. Oh, 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 sorry. Okay, using models. Models give the next place. And we see in two rock models. So we claim like one, same like that model student, student view models, uh, student and your object is the name, that's it. Okay. And in general, save action click this number, monarchy, our only field line of the model binding for So our model model, you are able to return from that HTML, from that view. Okay. So, so I'm just showing there. There are two different options to read the form controls. One is when you have model binding, you can directly read from model, or else you can go with the form collection also. Okay. So what a form collection will do? Fc dot uh, fc name binding. Yeah. Index will be name. So akara 
name him under the under element of the name him under the down the tree right so this we can see in the runtime also forget about this in general we will be we will write model binding of it so i will take the model okay so what i need to do i need to uh, pass this object to our data access world right so let me write data access world next to this also at the same time business object so what we have written same in the ASP data we will write in a similar fashion in the student student dot dot save student right so what it will expect a student view it will expect right student and a object next to this okay at this moment we don't have that student view right so we need to create a student view for it first student wait a minute let me prepare a model so view dot student and so view dot student uh, h t u d student view object this one view and Okay. Let me write like this. Then this one is the the view dot. The only in the bind this one, right? So first one is name. Itla man ki e object nijhe man ki actual name text box name and address lo aro sir, right? So student. dot name. We got it. What I am trying to do here. One of the view object is built in. In the data access layer, it is expecting a view object, right? So like that, we have seen student view dot course country whatever. <laughs> ना ना सिक्स है हमने मेरे मुलाकात में तो वी नीड टू पास ओवर स्टूडेंट बी वन एस टी यू डी स्टूडेंट बी यू दस सर राइट वी विल सेव टू ओवर केटर नेक्स्ट It is expecting a action result, so it is expecting a return return. Value. So once form is successfully saved, what it need to be again? We need to uh, uh, reload our index page, right? With a uh, first. So what we need to do is re return redirect to action will be an inbuilt function. Okay. Redirect to action. Okay. 
that means from this action we need to call this action. Mano after method set in this and directly to method in the system, right? Particular redirect to action is what we need to write the action name. What is that action name? Index. That's it. Okay. Next, one another thing. <coughs> We need to uh, give some correction string also, which we have given in ASP document. If the work is done, desktop will remove. Angel and Angel. Is it very long? Yes, Angel and Angel. Did you see it in the other one? So, is it March of Sir? Are you March of Sir? Okay. Can you score? Copy it. Student info is the same only, okay. And the same in the line line copy here, sir. Line open. Mana MVC flat kill, I could have left at home. Root loan to left at home. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can ID by in this era, that is one thing. And if you write something, uh, three create button go for sir. If you write create button, uh, it will see you, show you some custom also. And if you course this key, my name is 3 comma 150 and rational mother. If you try to enter only two characters. Okay. Course must be a string of data with a minimum length of three characters. Okay. Either so. In the country, it will in the complex with the end of the Sunday, I'm not what I'm trying to say. Customized rather than my error misses. So let's write like this. We can actually the student name is managed and yeah. So at the min length key, mali manam error misses are asked. Three comma on bit is it. We can write our own. So courses length should be at least three characters. Ani at least one bit ko chama. Then you will see that misses here. Okay. At this moment, it is coming from uh, directly from the framework. Based on this property, it is showing the field name here. Okay. Uh, so dot net. Why I am going to fill form subscription. Breakpoint is now one minute. Uh, save the data. Yes. Sir. So breakpoint will be there. Uh, Can you see a permit here? Here we are. Huh? Here we are. The student view model like a bit is type of data. Oh, spread type of the name on the end of the model. 
ಈಚ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಕೆಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಡೈಮೆನ್ಶನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಬಾಯಂಗನೆ ಅದು ಆಟೋಮೆಟಿಕ್ ಗೆಲ್ಪಿದ್ದು ಜೆಂಡರ್ ಇದು ಕೂಡ ಒನ್ ನೋಟ್ ಟೂ ನೋಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಕೂಡ ಅಂತ ಸೇಮ್ ಜೀರೋ ಆರ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿ ಮನ ರೇಂಜ್ ಫೀಲ್ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಕಾಬಟ್ಟಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಶೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಫೈವ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಮಧ್ಯ ಬೆಟ್ಟಾದ್ರೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಕಸ್ಟಮ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಬೈ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಅನಿಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಕಸ್ಟಮ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಒಬ್ಬರೇಂಟಿ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಇಂಕೊಕಟಿ ರೇಂಜ್ ಇಂಕೊಕಟಿ ಮಿನ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಟ್ಲಾ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ವಾರ್ಡ್ ಕೋಚಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಸೈನ್ ವ್ಯಾಲಿಡೇಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲಿಡೇಟಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಓಕೆ ಕೇರ್ ರೂಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸರಿ ಜೀ ಒಂದ್ರ ಹಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ರಾಹುಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ನೌ ಹಿಯರ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಈ ಒಕ್ಕಟ್ಟೇ ತೀಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಸರಿಪೋತದೆ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಶೋ ಯು ಹೌ ಎ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಕಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಅನೇ ಚೂಡಣ ಕೋಸ ನೀನು ತೀಸ್ಕೊಂಡ ಓಕೆ ಲೆಟ್ ಮೀ ಟೇಕ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ ವಿಂಡೋ ಹಿಯರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಆಲ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಇಂಟರ್ಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ ವಿಂಡೋ ಸೋ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ಎಫ್ ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಕಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಲೋ ಉನ್ನ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಏದನ್ ಇಸ್ತೆ ಅದು ಸೋ ಲೆಟ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಅನ್ ಇಟ್ ತೀಸ್ಕೊಂಡ ಓಕೆ ಫ್ರೀ ಅನ್ ತಿಚ್ಚನ ಮನೋ ಅಂತ ರೆಂಡ್ ವೇಲ್ ಇಸ್ಕೊಂಡ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಸಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ದ ಟು ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎಪ್ಪಡೆ ಮಾಡೆಲ್ ಬೈಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಲೇದು ಅನ್ನಪುರು ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಕಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ಓಕೆ ಬಟ್ ಎಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೊಮೆಂಟ್ ವಿ ಹಾವ್ ಮಾಡೆಲ್ ಬೈಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ एवरीथिंग ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಡೆಲ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಲಾ ಸೊ ಯುವರ್ ಮಾಡೆಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಫಿಲ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಮನನ್ ಇಂಕ ಅಪ್ಪು ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರಂ ಗದ ಎಮನಿ ಟಿಎಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ನೇಮ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಅನಿ ಅಟ್ಲಾ ಬೈಂಡ್ ಯಾ ಸೌಸಂ ಲೆ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಮಾಡೆಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಚೇಸ್ತಾರೆ ಏಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಂಟ ಐ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಮೂಲಕ ಚೇಸ್ತಾರೆ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಐಡಿ ಜೀರೋ ಅಂತ ಎಂದಕಂಡೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎನ್ ಇನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೋ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಜೀರೋ ಅಂತ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕಂಡ್ ಮಿತಾನ್ನ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಮನೆ ಇಸ್ ಅಲ್ಸ್ ಸೋ ನಾನು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿಯು ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಲೋಕಿ ಮನೆ ನೇಸ್ಕೊಂಡಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಸಮ್ ಇದಿ ವರ್ಕ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಮನೆ ಚೇಸಿಂಗ್ ಅದು ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಬಾಟ್ ಸೋ ಸಿ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಕಮ್ ಫೋರ್ ಟು ಯಾ ಡಿಡಿ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಕೀ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ So, we can redirect to action to the index kill for you. Now, it will again show you a fresh form. That's it. Now, if you go and see in your database, uh, you should be able to see. Table, a record should be inserted with the, within four, four, four. Now, which one? That means, whatever we have inserted. that was scale okay so that is fine anyone have any doubts i put a controller views me kada ni controller and the views controller kind of change antunnaru kada you should create views and just paste the controller and just view em antunnaru kada ardham ga ni question avadha views such as like subfolders kada na ದಾನಿ ಪಾತ ಅಪ್ಪ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ವ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಕದ ಇಕ್ಕಡ ನೀವು ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ವ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ನೋದು ವರ್ಕ್ ಜಿಯಾಲಂತೆ ವಿತ್ ಔಟ್ ಎನಿ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಈ ನೇಮ್ ತೋಟೆ ಉಂಡಾಲ ಅನ್ನೋದು ನೀ ವ್ಯೂ ಅನ
जावास्क्रिप्टीएसएस <laughs> Uh, here modal binding is there okay next razor syntax is there whatever you are seeing in the css html everything is a razor syntax html helper classes in there right then the view state under the so view state under the code wall it will be very fast mvc and come back to uh, asp.net okay then the page right side ki mottam marpen then the page load abandon untai ga so oh. each time you are clicking any action mana save click kodte em jarigadi page load ki elli vache सक्सेफुली show you an empty page and the content result content result so let's then we will content result content and the content result and the content it's fine you can action reserve this command out you can return any kind of thing and the content return here to json to javascript jquery uh, sorry jquery uh, json anything you can do so in my daily to man if you save a record it will not go and show the view ante manam unna page kuda ellipoddu anamada ante oka form lo unnam kada manam aa form kuda ellipothadu so it will not store anything in the browser that is the view state anamada so it's fine जनरल 
know if you observe here, it is returning entirely different. So, mark in the moon, even that form only, it is based on, right? So, if you give return save successfully, MSS, return save successfully, and that's it. A form of the input, and you can think of view state on it, okay? So, Oxar request a response action under our response, aim is the other output, right? So, there is a lot of difference framework for English thing. But output for an end as an end user will just say, so both are web applications only. Okay? Development point of view, there are a lot of changes. Yeah. yeah. ASP.NET web forms also for designing a robust web applications and dynamic web applications. Still ASP.NET web forms are there. That's why they are giving support even in the latest versions also. 4.6.1 is only in the end user. So 4.6.1 level to make to Still, you can go on create web forms applications. And because the answer would have robust applications here to dynamic applications and the complexity applications and still lot of companies are using that web forms also. Coming to MVC, it is new way of developing web application. Japan is a design pattern. Down below on the loop holes name, it is overwrite JSSC, it came up. So that is one. Hmm. So there are uh, certain action results. So today what you will do is you go and read about what are the different action results. Theoretically you read. Okay. So as I told you there are uh, view result, content result, JavaScript result, uh, MT result, okay. JSON result. Okay, JSON result. Next uh, partial view result. Okay. Akla oka 9 or 10 noon type. Okay. So theoretically you read about that. So in our next class, we should be understand what is what. And I could return just same as today. If the actions are better view. So if I want to return something to the front end with the JSON, how I need to write the format. So akla manam we can learn on that. Okay. And one thing we need to write here. Because we mentioned that HTTP post, it's fine. You you also write you can also write here an attribute HTTP post. Okay. If you're not writing anything here, means it's a get method. So then you want to you are going to call just the it will not work because ante home students slash save ante man ke method the action file button hit ke all. But it will not hit because it is a post method, and we need to pass few of the arguments here, right? Student model side is pass here again. Without form collection, also this will work. That's what I told. Okay, so got it. What we need to do for today? You need to read about action results, okay? And create with your own chapter. And they also are chasing your student so that you will understand. And they put your different under the ASP dot and to compare this thing. Then your output and then your way of designing a web page is entirely different. Right? So, read once. Can we wind up? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Meeting tomorrow. Can you something about it? See you. Bye. See you, sir. Bye. Bye.